Hello, I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro. I've had the pleasure of being the president of the North American Menopause Society through 2017. And I'm joined today by a member of the Board of Trustees, Dr. Jim Liu. Jim, tell us what you do. Uh, I'm a reproductive endocrinologist, and I chair the Department of OBGYN at University Hospitals. So for our patients who are watching and are very confused about what's happened in the world of hormone therapy, um, many have come back to use hormone therapy. Talk briefly about that. What, what have we learned? I think the, the pendulum has swung back towards a more favorable impression of hormone therapy, primarily because as we sub-analyze the Women's Health Initiative, uh, there are now uh, evidence that the younger women do benefit from being on hormone replacement, at least up until the age of 60. Uh, and this is a little bit different than the message that was put out right. in 2002. So we know that women initiating hormones at 60 or initiating at 70 are definitely at more risk. But what about that woman that you talk about who is initiated within 10 years of menopause because of intractable symptoms, hot flashes, night sweats, let's say I'm that woman, and now it's 10 years later, um, and we try to get me off the hormones, and it's a no-go. Quality of life, I come back to you telling you it's, it's just as if, it, as if it was starting all over again. So one of the approaches I have, for, and I see a fair number of these patients, is to really go over exactly what is bothering them when they do try to taper or, or reduce. Uh, there are some risk-reducing strategies we can try. Obviously, lowering the dose is one. Changing it to a, a patch uh, may be another one that might minimize the risk. I, I think the decision should be individualized for each patient. So if the patient is relatively healthy, has nothing on the surveillance, the lipids look good, the mammograms look good, and she is of uh, maintaining her weight, those are low-risk women, and I think in, your, in my mindset, those individuals could continue with a lower risk profile than the typical average person that might be in a study. So if I'm that woman and I'm continuing, I'm, I'm different than the woman who just starts at 60. I've now been on it for 10 years. Do we have any information that shows that I can be on extended use? The North American Menopause Society has a position statement saying no mandatory stop date. There can be extended use past 65. But what's that based on? I, I, you know, I'm quaking in your office. I'm that woman who, because I've, I've seen the headlines. So uh, the long-term studies uh, that are somewhat weaker, but it looks at populations, and, and the, the Scandinavian population in Finland uh, is one where it demonstrated a, a lower risk for heart disease in women that have been on long-term hormone mm -hmm. therapy greater than 10 years. Uh, and, and they do follow their women quite closely since it's a national uh, health database. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's reassuring that we're not harming the women by leaving them on hormone therapy for a longer period of time. There is also some smaller studies that look at uh, changes in the thickness of the carotid artery. So our arteries in our neck uh, that, that can, supply our brain. That can just send off things to our brain and cause a stroke. Correct. Yes. And, and they measured the, the, the thickness of the wall. As you know with atherosclerosis, the thickness tends to increase. And the rate of change in women on hormones was not different than women on placebo. Mm. So these are older women. Uh, the younger women actually had a slower rate of change than the older, than the placebo group. Right. But uh, so this was, a, I think, a, a new important finding that sort of confirmed our impression that younger women do better on hormones, and older women does not seem to have a negative effect, at least at the present Which time. Which is such an important message if you need extended use. Right. Thank you so much for being here and talking to me as a patient and our patients out there.